exciting episodes of photography and its bits uh, we've got an exciting one today uh, we are touching base outside our little uh, continent that we think it's the world. Um, got an interesting guest today, but before that, I just want to remind everybody that we hit more than 500 likes and we have a game show on uh, Friday. So please, we need contestants. We need about three or four contestants. So if you're interested in playing with us, uh, it's going to be Wheel of Fortune style, but photography wise. So yeah, please uh, do inbox us if you want to play. Uh, you must uh, be able to play via Skype or zoom um yeah so you need at least one gig of data there i would love to have you ken lynn candy please join through that would be fun um don't forget speaking of candy candy will be live tomorrow talking about video on his um uh, live stream on his wall i think he's going to be live tomorrow he's been taking a break uh same with unkept.media they've also been taking a week off but they'll be back uh, coming next week and yeah uh, without further ado uh well mr producer technical guy there behind the scenes oh mav mav how's it i know it's a shall worker <laughs> hi everybody <laughs> don't forget to unmute yourself don't ah, forget to unmute today yourself I'm not, today i'm not on mute I'm there, uh, today i'm not on mute <laughs> hi everybody uh, and it's good to be here uh thank you for joining us again yeah uh, today it's gonna be a nice show and like Uniko said Friday, we have a very interesting show coming up. Uh, if you know you will love Fortune Game Show, please join us. Uh, thank you very much. All right, sure. And our guest of honor today, the one, the only, Mr. OK Majosi. How's it, bro? <laughs> I'm putting it up, brother. Good, good. Uh, so, why don't you tell us who's, uh, who's OK Majosi? Okay, my Josie is my Instagram handle, but Uspundo Majosi is my name. Uspundo Wala Majosi, Umkama Ukwanyana, all the way from KZN, a uh, small town in Samaritsburg. Uh, but parents, um, my dad stays in Durban, but I am staying in Centurion in Joburg. I'm based in Kauteng, basically. That okay. is Uspundo Wala Majosi in a nutshell. I know Sabanga Sabanga Putti. So, yeah, who are you? What do you do? I mean, you're a content producer, photographer. What is, uh, let's speak about the content, content production part of, uh, of you first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, the content production is uh, literally goes, um, I create content for um, businesses such as um, Afrobotanics, uh, they manufacture natural hair care and also um, I produce a lot of content for YouTubers. So um, a lot of YouTubers that you know uh, behind the scenes, I produce the content for them. And then, yeah, man, just that's that's that that's the content production behind everything. Yeah, you, and you've been uh, fortunate to to be able to travel uh, for work anytime you feel like it. You got that golden pass. How did you succeed? Well, some of us are still stuck at home. <laughs> oh man, it's just putting in the work. It, it, it's just yeah. putting in the work and studying and just what you're doing and who you're doing it for and what does it mean for your client. Uh, basically, yeah. it's 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 all about working with people who are working. So what do I mean by that? So if a train is already moving, it's, 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 it's better to hop on it and just hop with it. So to work with people who are in motion already. So, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, uh, but the, the type of work, I mean, we know uh, being out there, you need to be an essential services worker. Uh, I mean, are your clients are providing essential services that you're doing work for? Uh, currently now. Uh, so now what, what I'm basically doing is I am shooting a whole lot of product and sanitizers, just, just like this one. This one is from yeah, my yeah. Like yeah. You, you're seeing it, I, I'm going to add it uh, core now on those mini brushes, other clicks, or on the Instagram pages. So that's mm. what I've been doing now, just mm. kind of social distancing. Uh, but I've been like shooting a whole lot of um, your... your, your your product and I actually go to clients now other than before we we'll like yeah. shoot on location. I just shoot from the comforts yeah. of their own homes or mine yeah. because I have power oh. suit. Oh, all right. Okay, cool. I uh, will come back to the studio part of it now. Um, let's uh, t uh who's um, show my Josie, uh, pre being uh, a I mean, okay, my Josie, sorry, before before the photograph. <laughs> hey, now, I'm you know, I it, it's, I'm sure it's gonna catch me a few times during the show. I mean, so, you know, uh, you know, it's just out there making waves. <laughs> oh, my Josie, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 
Yeah, uh, prior to, to um, I mean, I understand you work for yourself now. Uh, prior to that, uh, um, as a photographer, how did you manage, uh, I mean, what were you doing before? Um, as a part-time photographer and a full-time what? Um, okay, I'd, I'll, I'll tell you this. I've never been a part-time photographer. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, where I started, I started in a small town of Peter Maritzburg. I studied photography, but how I initially started was, in 2011, I remember I was in grade 11. Yeah. So yeah. Um, my birthday is in January, right? So my mom was sick at that time. Uh, my, my mother passed away a, like a day before my birthday. So oh, she, she gave me a present. It was, um, you know, those Sony cameras? Yeah. I have, uh, but it's, uh, it's all the way encased in. The, yeah. the, those Sony small cameras. So I started with them just like shooting. I'm, um, uh, these things called uh, the the reunion in in Peter Maritzburg. So doing that for money, go back as a lead home, being with and fifty back in the days, and yeah, yeah. speculated. Um, I just continued from uh, from there. Uh, there's a famous radio station in 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 KZN. Uh, it's called uh, Akagasi FM. So um, me and my boys were the, actually the first resident photographer for Akagasi back in the days. So. Yeah. Um, Fast forward a year later, that contract subsided, and then I just went on to studying full time. I studied mm -hmm. photography, at art institute, and then um, that was for uh, two years. And then after it, I just came to Joburg, opened up a small studio based in Kailami. Um, in Kailami, ran the studio for like two, two, three years, and then. Yeah. I branched out on my own. So whatever I was doing there, I just decided to do it by, by myself. So, so. so you've never been employed by anybody else uh, after high school? Never had a job in my life. <laughs> so you don't know what it feels like to be in the comfort of a salary on the 25th every month? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, fine. yeah. <laughs> yeah so okay now you were saying that uh okay you branched out on your own so which means you were working with other people uh before and um what was it a much safer environment for you to partner up with somebody or was it the lack of experience that made you partner up with other people i mean like a small boy coming up to a big city i'm from a small time i'm i'm from emirates so um so that for me felt like a big jump coming from a small town into a big city like Joburg. So therefore, mm -hmm. this guy was like, I have this establishment. So mm -hmm. if you can partner up and uh, go 50-50 on the rent, uh, mm -hmm. it, it's actually at uh, up by the race course in Kalami Business yeah, Park. Yeah. Race course yeah. there. So we had yeah. that you're running and it was it was good. But it's, it, it's just that the rent is so high in Midrand. So mm. we, I, I just have to do it by myself. I just had to, the money that we are actually making there, I just wanted to experience it by myself. Mm. All right. oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. And how's that, how's that been working out for you? Uh, what difficulties did you have, uh, no, you know, like branching out on your own? I mean, obviously, it's uh, quite a big risk. Mm. It's, 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 it's what every photographer faces. One is equipment. Because we already had equipment there that we we, uh, we bought together. So what happened was I had to leave everything there. So I didn't have... Imagine a camera, uh, a photographer with no camera. It's like a painter in my brush. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. So yeah, it, was, it, it was getting equipment, getting myself equipped and getting lighting. That was like, mm. oh my God. That was the... Yeah. Yo, it was the pit, actually. So but which like, bank did you rob to get those uh, that equipment that you had <laughs> back then? <laughs> no, uh, as I said, uh, as I said before, it's about working with people who are working. So uh, yeah. basically, with that, I already had a plan in mind. I already yeah. like it, it's very important. Like I don't have friends; I have business associates. So mm -hmm. like w uh, whenever I speak to you, for instance, it's always about yeah. photography, how we're moving forward, and things yeah. like that. So um, so. Uh, this guy actually owned a business. So yeah. uh, basically what I'm saying is he saw me as an entity, not just Usfundo, Waka mm. He saw me, okay, mm. Machozi. So he decided to invest in me. So how yeah. he uh, invested in me, I invested in his business as well with my yeah. time, skills, and my, uh, uh, and my expertise. So uh, with that, it was more or less like a, um, 
a, a partnership again uh, with mm. the equipment. So I ended up buying everything that I need. I don't hire equipment from nobody. Mm. I, mm. Everything I need as a photographer. Mm. So, yeah. So from there, partnership grew. So that's when I learned how to get other clients as well. If I can mm. get something this major, I realized that I have it in me. So it's in my DNA. So that's yeah. how I think about it in creating all these business deals. So, mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, now that being said, would you think it's uh, it's quite uh, important for, for people who are trying to establish themselves to have those types of relationships and how do they go about? I mean, your case was different. I mean, you, um, you know, like, um, is it uh, essential for people to partner up with people who are already succeeding who have uh, money to, to fund them? Uh, do they not difficult. fall in the risk of, of, of being uh, captured by, by that uh, entity? Um, okay, it depends on what you have. Everything you have got to be on, like, like in black and white. Mm. So it has to be. Whatever you guys discuss, it has to be pen and paper done. Because mm. um, if you... Like a deal like that can easily go south or you can easily yeah. lose equipment or the insurance yeah. doesn't pay out or yeah. you have yeah. to have those things covered. And yeah, yeah um, is it a good idea for them? Uh, it depends how far you are you, are you want to go in the game. It depends on your longevity. Like mm -hmm. you can say, okay, Mklampe with just a basic camera like Mklampe at 1300 d mm -hmm. Not shaming any camera, but like... Yeah. Um, a Mark Four, a Mark Four can make your work go a hundred times. It will take you from being a beginner into mm. the pro level within yeah. seconds because yeah. of the technology that that's yeah. inside there. Yeah. So it, it is very essential if you can't afford it yourself. I'll say go for yeah. it. Uh, yeah, you you've had the, the uh, opportunity of uh, studying photography in a um, you know formal edu uh, formal education institution. Uh, most of our listeners are self-taught YouTube uh, university students. Uh, was th was that um, more? Do you think that was more advantageous to you to go to a, a school where you, you know somebody was actually instructing, or did you learn most of the stuff that you know now by you know what experimenting? Yes and no. Yes and no. The reason why I'm saying no is I learned more after schooling, like doing mm. practicals. Like mm. photography is a practical job. Like uh, you, you learn on the job mo mm. uh, um, most of the things. But the yeah. schooling part, it helps you with regards to your your business side of things. Um, mm. Like your model release form that you have yeah. to sign uh, with the models. Yeah. The way you mold your, your, your photography uh, uh, mm. business up the structure of your business. How do you mm. go about it into actually owning a studio? How, mm. like, like the, I don't want to learn them off by, oh, you can, but it's it's harder for you to learn them on the streets because you mm. take a huge knock by yeah, yeah. It's, mm. it's It's very nice to learn all those things at school. It's mm. safer than yeah. Yeah. And and that, does that uh, maybe give you that extra edge when you approaching uh, corporate clients to say you know what I actually studied photo uh, photography I studied uh, from a formal institution as opposed to uh, YouTube uh, university? Um, I wouldn't say an extra edge, but it it leaves the employer or the person who's going to be investing your shoes minds at ease. What's going on? This mm. person, what they do it. Other than mm. them having something like a Facebook page or an mm. Instagram page as a resume, because you, you mm. can download stock images and buy them yeah. and to your yeah. to your Instagram. I'm not saying yeah. anybody must do it or anybody is doing that, but like yeah. it it's 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 very it it actually puts you at ease as an employer or a person who's going to be dishing out a contract to say this person I'm giving this actually has a, a, a schooling background knowledge of this. All right. Okay. Cool. Uh, Mav, uh, who is uh, talking to us? Who's listening to us today? Let's have a look. Um, cool. Uh, we have uh, Ken Lindy Nepes Anderson, who's joined us. Mm -hmm. Mr. Candy Mo, also has joined us. Uh, uh, Teko, uh, Teko mm -hmm. Moha, eh, Mohano. Uh, what we are uh, here. You have to learn it. <laughs> Teko's been listening for a few times, so you have to learn his name, Madao. <laughs> we can't do more saying knock knock on the thing. We have Ukelumusa <laughs> Classic Nkosi no Karabo uh, Murule who's joined. We have Umatabo Photography saying hello. 
Uh, we have uh, Warren Jordan. We have Vusmose Vector SA. We have uh, DJ Busang on the stream. We have uh, Tumisang Prince DJ! Makoba <laughs> <laughs> on the stream. Uh, we have Ulisiho uh, Ntlane. And we have Daniel Pushamo. Uh, Spuda Tom Tom Zoid. Uh, Izzy Muhabe. Yes. Uh, with George Lewis, who great more saying, great to hear a photographer give f- a photographer give formal studies a credit. And then we yeah. have uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so far, yeah, so far, those are the people we have on. All right, cool. Um, uh, Mr. OK Majosi's uh, Instagram account is OK underscore Majosi. Um, we did put it on the poster and I've pinned the comment on, on onto our chat room. Uh, so yeah, do go out there. If you have any questions for him during the show, please put, post them through. Would love. Um, we have Mr. Uh, Sfundo for the next uh, forty-five minutes or so. So please uh, post your questions. Let's let's talk. Uh, Slabs Conan, we see you returning again. How's it, uh, Buzwe uh, Ole? Um, yeah, and then uh, going on, um, let's talk about your photography. What type of uh, how would you describe your photography or the work that you do? Um, at first, it was whatever that pays the bills, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but obviously, uh, like the type of clients I was getting on a regular actually structured the way I was going because. Uh, I think you can see on my Instagram that I don't really specify what type of photography I do. Mm. Um, only when, um, because that actually like sort of limits you in a way. Like I find myself, saying, you know, I'm being limited. Um, mm. So, but the majority is professional portraits. Uh, mm. Also, like um, your product photography, uh, as well as um, lifestyle photography. Yeah. Um, and I want to branch on to editorial more, but that will require like a lot of work that I'm not sure that I want to do now because I want to get the shmoney, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why not weddings? I mean, weddings are a gateway drug to every photographer. You, I, I, you've never seen anything event, uh, wedding event-wise. Mm, not at all. <laughs> I mean, snap on to whoever does weddings. Like, <laughs> The shutter count of the camera. Yeah. Number two. Uh, they, but, but, but can almost replace. I mean, if you do 10 weddings, that should be enough money to buy uh, another camera. <laughs> uh, true. But what, uh, what if you don't want to go to those avenues of, like, I'm good with, with uh, I'm not it, it, even bashing anybody who's doing weddings. Weddings are very nice. Weddings have money. But uh, I know myself in, in, um, in terms of, like, uh, when I'm working, right? Uh with my clients, I take like example, 20 to 25 pictures and then I edit like five or seven. They are satisfied. It's all about quality with me. Weddings, you have to take 500 pictures, do a photo book, get a videographer, uh, attend meetings. Maybe the wedding is in Polokwane, travel with the tea. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. come to right. my studio, I take four or five pictures, I'm done, you give me my money. See, see right. Like, mm-hmm. All right, no, grand, grand. No, it's cool, it's cool. I'm sure we charge a 20,000 per shot. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I'm not gonna ask you how much. Uh, so if people want to find out, they can inquire with you in box directly. Um, yeah, let's yeah. Talk, uh, <laughs> I'm not holding anything back. I'm not holding anything back. Oh, sure. Okay, well, tell people. I'm sure people are interested to find out how much a, a session with you costs. Okay, so on my Instagram uh, below, uh, there's a site there. It's uh, it's by Setmo. So you just click yeah. on it. It will show you, like, uh, for, for, for five images is mm. 1.8. Uh, mm. But half a day, uh, for half a day is 4.5. But for a full day, is 6,500 rand. So yeah, that's how I charge. Oh, uh, no, cool, cool. I mean, sure, some some photographers still charge that for for weddings and stuff and so on. So and you do it with the at the leisure of your own uh, taste and studio and everything. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, so I'm, that, that's well, I'm comfortable in the mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, product photography is quite a, a uh, 
an uncommon uh, field amongst photographers. I mean, how did you get into product photography? Uh, I mean, it's, so did you like, you know what, so were you shooting my perfume work or my cologne work or, and oh. then posting it and people found interest in, in, in that style of photography you were doing? No, not at all. Hey, I just found myself in product photography. I was like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a lot of clients used to come to, uh, to the studio I was working at before and just request, uh, we got a heater that we want to shoot in Cloud Bay, a marketing firm. We have a heater that we want to promote. We have earphones that we want to promote. We have shoes mm. that we promote. But the latest was shoes uh, from a competitor of the current leader, which with, with, mm. with shoot right now mm. and yeah man it's just I, I just found myself to, to be shooting for a, a product I didn't subconsciously think of it good thing you know hey what thing should say a shampoo yeah 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 all right so and like uh, when usually when you're working with uh clients like that I mean if you're saying they're competitor to a big name so obviously that, that that's that, that's a big deal for them to be bringing their product to you do they send in a uh, creative director with uh, to say you know what this is the direction we're going or is uh, are all the ideas are uh, from you Ish, all the ideas have been from me for now <laughs> yeah. I, I wish it was as easy as that but they, they just give me a brief as to what 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 they want but in in terms of creativity uh, because with me you don't only pay for pictures you know, you pay for the experience, you pay for the creative direction, you yes. pay for the quality of image, and you pay for the return time. Because I'm a, I'm a photographer, I ask you, I'm a photographer, I but I give you a return time. That's <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you <laughs> um, so it, it, uh, they pay for, for all of that, uh, and with that comes with experience. Also, mm -hmm. you know, how do you handle the clients? How do you go about and um, the the frame time in which you get the product back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. You must. For stuff like that, you must have some advertising experience, uh, I mean, like copywriting and things like that, or I don't know, do you have any such, or is it something that, you know what, uh, let me go through a magazine or whatever you saw on the internet or on a magazine and then got inspiration from that and say, okay, this is how I'm going to approach my shoot as opposed to the, what I've uh, been inspired by, by third party sources. Um, but I go with whatever the client says on the brief, obviously, and try to manipulate it with my own style. Like every other photographer have their own style, guys. Like, mm -hmm. like we can get the same camera, the same lighting, but uh, when when we are shooting and when we are in post production, your creative juices come alive. So, mm -hmm. so I think my clients pay for my creativity. And where do I get that creativity from? It just I don't know, bro. It's made because I'm a I spend a lot of time alone and I spend a lot of time on the internet and then, yeah, yeah. man, I'm always in my... Yeah. And has the client ever come to you and say, you know what, uh, this is what we want you to shoot and then you have an idea that will go above their budget and how do you go for uh, about proposing that uh, your idea to say, you know what, spend that extra 20,000 clients, I've got this crazy idea that, and, uh, and I, be I believe it will work. Um, if it's a returning client, I can do that. Like with, with, with my current clients uh, right now what I'm able to do is I I am able to take over the creative direction like all of it I am able to tell a client would see I will oh we haven't done a shoot of this like I have that much control I'm not saying I have that much control over my clients but I have that much control control of their of their PR and and they 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 stuff being out there. So mm. I literally tell a client, you know, we 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 haven't shot for blah blah blah. I think we mm. uh, we need to shoot. Sometimes I do it for our own gains, but most of the time yeah. it's for the client's yeah. gain. And yeah. and to answer your question, it happens all the time. Mm. Uh, some clients be like, hey, my we can only pay you like an X amount. And you go yeah. with that just to sustain the business. I'm not saying you know you must always take I take a hit, but if it's a returning client, mm -hmm. you must you must actually like play the the game of taking a hit sometimes, yeah. but not, yeah. not all the yeah. time, just to protect yeah. your client. 
or cool. uh, George on the on the chat room is asking uh, what are some of the challenges uh, you come across with such uh, clients that you in, that you should there for their product in addition have you ever delivered a job and the client wasn't quite uh, you know pleased with uh, what you, d- you delivered maybe when I started but now some bank pretend it's Wait, oh, 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 there was one instance where I delivered pictures that I thought they were nice, um, but the clients, we went back to the brief and it wasn't what they were looking for. And mm. I took a hit and I, we, we, we actually communicated, I'll, I'll do the next project at a reasonable amount. Like I'll take out X amount, I'll, mm. I'll take out travels, I'll take out the the editing, um, mm-hmm. I'll just charge you on the cost of the shoots. So, yeah, I, I have had an instance where I didn't follow the brief, but in mm-hmm. terms of a client that, that doesn't like the pictures, you guys like <laughs> so still <laughs> no, no, that's good. A repetition is a father of learning, and I think yeah. I've been doing this for for a second now to, to yeah. understand what. Okay. So basically, um, uh, how long have you been a professional photographer, not a photographer? I mean, you spoke about you started when you were still in grade eleven uh, with a point and shoot uh, from uh, uh, your your late mother. And when, yeah, uh, yeah. how long have you been doing this professionally? No, which you have to come up near my point. You have to pay that uh, car payment. Uh, you have to feed yourself and whoever is dependent on you. Um, I think it was, it was, it was. When was it? God damn! Time flies, eh? Uh, yeah. I, I graduated in two thousand and sixteen. Mm. So from. 2016, 2017, 2018, 2020. Mm. So four years now, just doing mm. this as 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 my bread and butter. Oh, all right, cool. All right, nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's talk about your portraiture work. Uh, your human beings. So we 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 start talking about aesthetic things. <laughs> you 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 live an Instagram type of life uh, lifestyle. I mean, everybody that you photograph is you know like millions and millions of followers out there. Uh, how do how do you land yourself in that game, or do you delete? Or you just don't post the people who have two hundred followers. You only go for the ones with you know who are influential uh, on the page. No, I think it's also about. It comes back to marketing and branding as well. Like Le Flow, like uh, if you have to look at that weight, just okay, going all the way. <laughs> Like the first pictures over there, it's the flowers. I shot that for the um, for the Valentine promo. Um, mm-hmm. They basically like very big when it comes to flowers, and um, it's just quality clients knows another quality client. Yeah, yeah. So 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 like people with 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 the budgets of photography knows another person with the budgets of photography so mm. you pretty much do your marketing within the circles like for instance ucc right uh, uh, over there i've been shooting ucc for the past two years but obviously i've gotten like four or five clients from ucc alone which mm. are um, the music industry uh mm. if you have to look at Ubongai, for instance that lady over there she's a youtuber i've gotten like so many influencers from just shooting mm. her Uroline, she, she's a musician i've mm. gotten like s- other people who in that industry so like it's mm. just basically referrals upon referrals and yeah, obviously yeah. you have to be doing great work like if you can mm. see the Tumisiko, uh, the guy uh, that I went with to at uh, Singapore, like I've gotten mm. so many clients from just shooting him as mm. well as oh, 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 Otumi, the other one. They are on the very same uh, industry. I uh, like mm. uh, if you have to look at how I structure it. Uh, UCC, Notabi, they're in the very same industry. Obongai, mm. the other girl, very same industry. So mm. it, it's just when you're inside, mm. it's very difficult. Uh, yeah, it's very it's easy. Yeah. yeah, and just don't be a shitty person, but just always be smiling and, and, yeah. and pull out great work. If you have to see Uzi over there, she's a fitness instructor and um, Utingi, uh, Utools Mbenge, he's an IBO champion. So, mm. like, quality people know other quality people. Mm. I mean, we we uh, TV shows and uh, we hear stories of some some celebrities could be a little 
you know, difficult. How do you handle that? Uh, have you experienced such where you worked with somebody whom you think maybe they could a bit uh, could be a bit nicer to you or towards everyone else they're working with? And how do you how do you handle things like that? Uh, being nice is relative. Like I don't expect anybody to be nice towards me either. So okay. I just expect them to just be human. Uh, I yeah. treat people personally. I treat people the same way I want them to treat me. So I will actually go like an. I will go an extra mile just to make sure Ugutsanyena, your staff is proper. So therefore, now we you treat me the same way because. Yeah. I'm going shoot and get shooting in Tom Bezimbi. Yes, I call it a Tom Bezimbi. I'm going to So I don't, I don't even look at, 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 um, at being treated some kind of way, as, as some type of way. As long as you pay me my money and then I do a great job, it's a business transition at the end of the day. We're not trying to create friendships. Yeah. Speaking of, of difficult uh, celebrities and stuff and so on, um, do you ever get to shoot somebody who says, no, you can't post my photos on your profile, I'll post oh, them God. on mine? <laughs> and uh, how, how's that relationship in terms of contract, uh, contractually? Uh, do you charge them more than because you can't use them uh, as, as um, you know, marketing for your own uh, business? Yeah, it goes back to the, um, uh, to the point that that I made earlier, I was saying, you know, just don't be a shitty person, man. Just treat people the same way you want them to be treated. Uh, I've had instances where, whereas I remember Uchiji Lamain was, was, was having a slumber party, uh, but, but those pictures were her own personal pictures. Like, it was a slumber party with a group of friends, so I can't be doing that on my... It's, it's, it's somebody's birthday party. Yeah, yeah. It's something special to them. Other than... Uh, at Kanjena, I need you to shoot my PR pictures, for instance. Yeah. If it's yeah. PR, that means everybody else is going to see them. Public yeah. relations, so I can yeah. pretty much post that. I can post mm. things like that. So, I don't know. Hence why I don't even like to shoot wi- wi- a weddings a lot. I don't, I don't like to yeah. shoot people mm. in private situations, my personally. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Do you uh, ever uh, approach um, uh, agencies, uh, you know, PR agencies, uh, to say, you know what, here's my business card, here's my portfolio. If you know somebody, hook me up. Um, I have somebody that I'm working with now with regards to PR, but uh, it was pretty much I met them. They were my clients. Yeah. So that person actually like helps me with regards to like radio if I want my pictures to be published, uh, yeah. all those type of things. Um, but personally, so saying that I'm going out of my way to do PR, no, it's just been mm-hmm. organic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. been organic. It's also mm-hmm. being not a shitty person. Like, yeah, yeah. just yeah, just don't say yes to everything, but just don't be a shitty person. Uh, like. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of uh, not saying yes to everything, uh, do you ever turn down a challenge to say, you know what, you know, maybe this might be uh, out of my league. Uh, uh, rather try X photographer. Maybe let me push it towards Umar, for instance. Uh, this I cannot do, or maybe I just have too much work and you need so agently. Or do you always make a plan of taking everything you, you, that comes towards you? Uh, I mean. If you got like a backlog and obviously you don't want to fight with the clients and uh, you can't assist that client at that particular time. Like I've had instances where I have to like shift work and give it to another person. But it's mostly things like you're retouching. Like I've mm. got like too much re- retouching to, uh, to do. I can like pay somebody else to actually do mm. it. And mm. yeah, but in terms of it happens all the time in the photography industry. Like, um, you'll get a referral and saying, like, like, for instance, I used to do a lot of weddings when I started, uh, mm-hmm. for, I had guys from Iguanda actually like giving me a whole lot of weddings, but mm-hmm. yeah, it, it has happened. It has happened, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. It happens up until now. Like, yeah, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, speaking of weddings, you just said you don't do weddings. I mean, if, uh, say, for instance, a big name celebrity came to you and said, dude, I like your work. I want you to come shoot my wedding. Would you do it? So what I do now is um, I'm not going to do like the actual, the whole ceremony, but I'll do mm. the portraits yeah. of the wedding. So I'll come mm. with the, in, in the photo shoot. Uh, uh, like I, in December, I only did one wedding my wedding so mm. this guy already hired um was already hired by the client so mm. he hired me for this photo shoot 
segments to just do portraits for that type of segments and it it works out better for me it's less editing for me and i have more creative control and more directions mm. over the wedding mm. i just drive there and then go back home Oh, okay. oh, okay. uh, do celebrities pay as much as they are celebrated you know like that's an interesting question does your price uh change depending on, on how influential the person is uh not at all it doesn't change but however mm. the relationship that you have with that person obviously can can somehow spark loopholes like mm. what do i mean by that if if, if let me use people that, that that always come to me. Let me use Ujiji Lemain, for instance. Okay. Like Ujiji, uh, we have, with all of my clients, né, what I do have is a monthly re a retainer fee. So I have a fee that they pay me monthly because it's difficult for every individual to mm. actually pay you every time, every day. When I'm um, So it's yeah. nicer when they pay you monthly and know that you already have like 10 clients, 10 mm. Not 10 celebrities, but 10 clients. Yeah. I don't take yeah. them as celebrities personally. Yeah. I just take yeah. them as another client. So you have 10 yeah. clients who are paying you the, the same fee. And yeah, it's it, it works out is, uh, cheaper for them because they can budget. And it works yeah. out easier for me because I can budget as well. So it's yeah. a win-win situation. I mean, okay. Well, we, yeah, well, so, so I understood. Uh, <laughs> what is what is a nice setup studio? It's not a studio, it's just a wallpaper, people. I uh, do not also, <laughs> please do not come rob me. I do not own any of these <laughs> wallpapers. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want to just go through the comments quickly um, while we prepare the, the next session? <laughs> Okay, um, let's just have a look at our uh, chat box. Um, okay, um, we have O Kenden Dinebe saying what kind, what type of camera is he using? Sony or Canon? <laughs> yeah, no, why, why do you always assume it's a <laughs> Canon <laughs> if it's not a Sony? <laughs> uh, George Lewis saying, I All right, can uh, blow his horn. He's still with Canon. <laughs> um, uh, we have with George Lewis who's saying, um, what are some of the challenges you come across with such clients that you shoot their product? Yeah, no, we already answered that. Yeah, we answered answer that one. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay, then the, also we have Umatabo, photographer, saying, what type of marketing would you say works for you best and which have you found works the best hey which have you found doesn't okay. work the best okay yeah let's yeah. Uh, let's just pause and answer that one i think that's a nice okay. question so with regards to marketing eh, um it depends on what uh, on what you're doing i know with uh, a lot of wedding photographers facebook works for them but with me eh, i i my marketing that works very best for me is the marketing that i already have within my company mm. what am i talking about it's the clients that i already have mm. they market me so i use the clients that i already have so if you are a person who doesn't have the type of clients uh, that i have i'll say um you gotta skill yourself so that it's easier to market yourself to people that already know you other than um uh, getting new people to actually like come into you you know what I mean? Because it's such a saturated industry. So uh, with Facebook, I have a lady who actually does my uh, Facebook ads. Um, she gets her own um, money if she has certain targets. With Instagram, I do it myself. I sometimes do um, um, uh, my sponsorships. But the ones that I find not working is when I... Russia, when's I understood? No, no, uh, no, but but we are So something that doesn't work is 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 stuff like your your brochures. Your uh, it doesn't really work for me. So uh, it will work when you know my work and you know the type of people that that I shoot. They are able to advertise me. So that actually works a lot for me. I get a lot of business coming through from Instagram, coming through from social media, basically. Other than hand to hand and the people who I already shoot they actually market me. Oh sure. Mava, do you wanna continue on with the chat? The chat room? 
cool um let me just see here okay um we have usbuda tom tom zoid saying lovely work mr machosi what inspires you to do even better in your creative work what inspires me uh so i don't have a mom or a dad so basically my it's 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 just being able to provide for my little sister it's it that what what actually drives me to actually do better when i see her i'm like okay i had my chance i went to you uh, i went to varsity i start i studied what i love so i got to give her the same opportunity so that what actually pushes me harder every day to be like yo i need to be better and knowing where you're coming from guys it's very important to not forget where you come from mm-hmm. so before anything you got to treat abanyabantu ubuntu and also like just be a people's person man you you you'll be amazed what a smile can act true mm-hmm. okay so uh, we have ulungelo Lulo Zondi saying, how do you control yourself with those hot models, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. It's, it's, a very, it's very important. I mean, okay, one, uh, do you get starstruck uh, when, uh, you know, working with, you know, a somebody that you wished you would work with and they approach you? Um, you know, secondly, you, sh- you, sh- you shoot quite a lot of, uh, I mean, on your profile, you have quite a lot of uh, titillizing uh, shoots. Uh, yeah. How do you control, how do you control yourself and how does that work and 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 if you ever <laughs> and uh, if you are in a relationship how does your partner uh feel about uh, uh you working with people taking such images uh it also like my relationship has been tested before but now it's strong right it's fine like uh, it's 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 my partner understand that it's just work and also just don't be weird bro like so many us guys um like we 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 just wanna like treat like women or treat nudity as I don't know as that's just don't be thirsty guys just 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 know that this is work this is a client but what I need from this is just just to take good pictures and get my money at the end of the day mm. simple as that ah you look at manje ah, guys <laughs> <Come down. laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, and and do you do you get muses uh, like um, you know people that uh, models that you work with on your downtime? I see you shot U E to a couple of times. Uh, to me, um, she's a friend of the family. We, we know her from uh, 162 together. Uh, do you like on your downtime say you know what? Okay, let me play around with this idea. Uh, let me get this model. I've got this idea for this model and. Uh. Yeah, sometimes you just get an inspiration from 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 the model that themselves. There's a picture I took on the river, on the river there, uh, on the waterfall, on my Instagram page. Uh, when 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 this girl came through from the company that I I sometimes work for called Girl Boss, they came through to, to do another sheet uh, in the studio, and then. Uh, just go down, 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 down. Yeah, up, 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 up. I know, down. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Her, yeah, right yeah. there, yeah, with that, those tillin, uh, those mm. tillin, uh, um orange colors there. So she came for originally uh, a girl boss headshot that we, we were going to publish in some campus uh, magazine. But uh, I already had an idea of that waterfall. I already went there and saw the, the, the waterfall, but I needed somebody with like long dreads. So mm-hmm. when she came, I thought, well, the puzzle just fixed itself there. So yeah, we did yeah. that. And it came out the very same way in which I envisioned it. So mm-hmm. yeah. It has happened, but most of the time it becomes like I have an idea, but I won't actually do it until I have the right person to do it with. Mm. Okay, all right, okay, cool. That's interesting. All right, um, you, 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 most of the times you speak about yourself, yourself, and the only time you reference other people was when you were talking about um, um, offloading your editing work to somebody. Do you always work by yourself, or do you have people that you? Often now and again, call up on them when you need help with a with a big project. Um. Yeah. Well, I do have assistants, and I do have people that actually come to uh, mm. uh, assist me. But 
I've, I've, I've realized that I, I get a lot done when I am actually like by myself. Like I, I love challenging myself. As I told you, like I like chilling by myself and actually I just I get stuff done. But I do have uh, an assistant that assists me all the time. Shout out to Malo Andre. Uh, I know he's watching right now. Uh, he, uh, you can give them your, your, his Instagram page uh, just in case they want to follow. Oh, it's Rico underscore Steels. So that's Malo Andre. That's my assistant. And I, I obviously consult with Abu, si, Ab, Abu Sim's photo. Um, like Ubu Sang at some point, I think he showed me a bit of lighting. I went by his studio. Uh, Abu Brendan, like Abu Brendan. Always, yeah, 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 that's 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 yeah. my nickname. I, I, I saw Brendan on the chat room, so how's it, Brendan? Thanks, uh, <laughs> it was a great show. Yeah, yeah you yeah. got a, quite a lot of traction. I think we we were running around about what 1.2 uh, views on the top, so no, that, that was cool. Thanks, uh, bro. Yeah, yeah sorry, go on. Thanks, Brendan. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I have like people that I'm actually like uh associated with in the industry, but I I don't like clicky 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 because that thing sort of like uh you you start inheriting people that don't like a person and you inherit that now which you're just because you're associated with with xyz but i just i just always find it's always better to just get it done yourself personally I, another person might have another experience mm. oh, God. Uh, i mean obviously b- uh, sorry, uh, being uh, you know a successful or succeeding photographer, you you get people who are start, still starting up, and they see okay, my Joseph's images, and like they see the traction. Do they ever come to you and say, "No, uh, can you mentor me?" And how do you handle that? Do you actually do mentorship programs, or do you mentor somebody, or you just uh, you know what, you're too busy? No, well, not in a bad way, but you know, yeah, you just no, have so much it's, work. Uh, it's with the energies, guys. I think. Mm-hmm. I think it's not number manga sit I know I don't have a lot of time like right now uh it's it's lockdown times uh most of us are free we're not doing anything say that's all we mm-hmm. do so uh what I did last week or the week before I'm not sure I actually opened my dms to like um answer every single dm that actually needed me to uh, to help them i even mm. went as far as actually calling the people with must be like mm. what what are you struggling with i uh, can mm. do maybe you can do one two three one two three when i do have time i really i really really love to help people because mm. there's people like uh, about dj who actually opened the door when we actually needed to actually mm. enter showed us mm. do one two three don't do one two three yeah mm. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, when we did a, a test call, you you spoke about uh, businesses, and I think that's quite important because most of us are failing when it comes to, you know, businesses. Please do uh, open platform go all out. <laughs> <laughs> With regards to. Uh, I mean, uh, turning photography into a business, uh, setting up a business, doing things properly, and you know, yeah. uh, I'm not going to coach you into which directions. You just tell us how you managed to succeed as a businessman. Uh, like, never mind the photography part of it. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's, there's two different things, right? There's being a photographer, a cameraman. Um, Sampe, you'll be in Sampe holding the lights, blah blah blah. And there's being in the photography business. So if you're in a photography business, you, 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 you don't like to like hold yourself back or um, because where, where we come from, guys, we come from the time of uh, people not actually taking, like I know with my family, when I told my grand, uh, I want to be a photographer. What's in your shooter? <laughs> it sounded like <laughs> it sounded like I wanted, I wanted to throw away my life. So, so, uh, I then took it upon myself. In order to do this, I have to do it the right way. And uh, the people that, that I actually render myself as to are actually in business. So it's more of a business transaction, a business to business transaction. So that forces you and molds you to like, um, um, like actually when you're rendering the services or maybe phone, you have a professional email, just structure it. Like everything works with um, anything that actually works fine, not perfect. It gotta have a system. You gotta have a system. So if you don't have a system in whatever you're trying to do, it can even be something as simple as um, driving a car. 
if you don't have a right system, you gotta have a system in order to achieve any sort of results. Just anything that requires a result, you gotta have a system. If you don't have a system with regards to that, um, something my business model, how I handle my business, might not work for, um, let's say, for a math, uh, for instance, but it works for me because it's um, uh, uh, it's what I'm aligned to. It's what I am actually destined to. It's what I'm actually like uh, exposed to. Um, Mshampe, it wouldn't work for you because Mshampe, maybe we don't have the same work ethic. Mshampe, you have more work ethic and it's working more for you than it works for me, but it's still the same systems. But however, um, it's going to be like a bridge of um, of time. And also, guys, maybe we'll give this shit time, guys. I, I know like, with the guy who's actually assisting me right now, uh, he's like, Bruh, I wanna be this good. I wanna be this good. I'm like, give it time, right? You have to mm. learn your movies. You have to give yourself mm. a learning time. So you can't just say in such a camera and then ha systems and then I have a photography business. No, it requires time, mm. it requires learning. Mm. Everything worth having, it requires you actually sitting down next to a desk, not even a desk, like Usali Pants if you don't have a chair to sit on at home. What's we phone the land? What's what I'm actually doing? It's important to know when's I am done. It's mm -hmm. very much important. Uh, if you don't know, uh, if you're just winging it, uh, if you just go wherever, if it's like air corner, bro, you're just gonna end up in a location that you didn't even wasn't even destined to because you're just going as the wind blows you. The first thing you gotta have a system. So you gotta have a camera. You gotta have a nice working laptop. You gotta have some a small office space. I'm not saying you know if I'm saying run this as a business, have a big office with. Uh, securities and the cameras and no 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 a business all it takes is the proper systems that actually make the business to actually achieve um, the, the type of finances that you actually scale for yourself and also fending are uh, fading for the people that actually work for you that's already a, you've already won just by actually um, providing for the person who actually works for you and providing for yourself and for your family and actually making this thing treat your business as a baby as a little baby mm. And, mm -hmm. and like an infant, in, in, in order to walk, you have to give it milk, you have to give it love, you have to give it courage, you have to, like, in order for this thing to grow, you gotta give it time, you gotta give it time. And also, um, it's not gonna be like, okay, in Gashut and Amsanjo, boom, the baby's walking tomorrow, mm -hmm. it's going to uni. It's stages, guys, it's stages, it's levels. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. blessed that you know, I have people that are obviously. When I told you in the beginning, you have to be mm. working with people who are working. Like, mm. the majority of my uh, uh, associates, that's why it, uh, it was easier for me to actually, when I came to Joburg, to, or to actually find myself in a business environment, into a, a studio that's actually in operating, mm. to, to actually be part of that photography business, not as an art. Also, hey, guys, in Gashutanje, because it's my passion, I'm doing it for five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 it's cool. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna cut you short. That uh, we're gonna run out of time soon. Uh, just, so there's two things that we wanna do. Um, you know, um, dude, I'm so wowed by being, you know, uh, first class to Singapore. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, you do, you do. Um, you've, uh, I see on your profile, you've done um, outside South Africa work. Uh, of all those projects you've done, uh, how did you manage to get yourself in one of those projects, and uh, how was the experience for you? Um, they all came in different ways. They didn't come from one person. All of the mm. the, the the international pictures that that you see on my page is um, it's all by different clients. So uh, as I said, you mustn't be a shitty person, obviously. Mm. Uh, so um, the one which I enjoyed the most, I have to say, it was Mozambique. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Why Mozambique? In this particular, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, why, why Mozambique? I think I it felt more like home, or oh, and the currency was more. <laughs> <laughs> Mav knows that. Mav knows. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's just the hospitality and just the energy of the people. Like it was so easy. Like when when when, when I was shooting there, obviously I didn't go with, uh, with the team. Uh, I went with myself and the client and um. Oh. 
those are my stories when I was there. Uh, I went to, with the clients and uh, I got to actually experience Mozambique. I went to like Ama, I, I, I went to the Tak Tak, all that, mm. uh, those experiences. But, like, yeah. that's my clients and the fiance. And yeah. I, I even had a tattoo for the very first time. There. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this one. So, you know, if a person does a tattoo in a foreign country, you know it's deep. So, yeah. I really enjoyed that's my clients. We're actually going for the shoot there. I didn't have a team. Um, yeah. So I had these two guys uh, who are actually selling uh, slops. Those two guys mm -hmm. over there, you have to go back. I had those two guys. They were like, uh, what are you guys doing here? We told them I have, a photo, I have a photo shoot, but I do need two assistants. And then they were like, okay. They quit their day job for a day. And then, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, I would too with a hot model like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they quit their job and they started working for me. And then I paid them at the end of the day. Yeah. And the other one was hustling me for slops, though. I remember mm -hmm. he told yeah. me he liked my slops and then I had to give him my slops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. it was Okay, you have spoken about the, the cultural aspect of, of, of a different country, but now uh, the, what I want to ask you more in particular is, uh, have you bumped into other photographers in those different countries and how is their, um, you know, how's, how would you, I, don't, I wouldn't say rate them, but how was the experience with uh, working with other photographers or meeting other photographers in a foreign land? Okay, it, in, in, in Mars, there's not too many, but like I have a few guys that, uh, that I was actually sharing knowledge with that side. But in uh, in in Swaziland, not too many. Swaziland is right here. It's so underdeveloped. Like I battled to even find because uh, my camera actually like Yapuga when I was in Swaziland. So I, mm. I I had to use my second camera, which was the five D three at that time. Mm. So. Um, they, they didn't have places to hire, so it was very underdeveloped. But fast forward to Singapore. Mm. Uh, in Singapore, cameras are being sold like how you have eight dollars my friend over here. Mm. So it's every single corner, and it's, it's, it's very easy to meet other photographers. I remember at the hotel uh, that I was working at in Marina Bay, mm. like there were so many photographers to a point where as they actually wanted to see my work, and then when they saw my work, they like why don't I join their team? But yeah. sadly for me, I don't have a working visa for Singapore. Yeah. But mm. but but I would say like with countries that, that are very like forward and very like developed, every single every third person is a photographer because of the mm. affordability of the SLRs and the mm. and the availability of them. It's just mm. every every single person is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I like, I, I like to look at my work a lot. I'm a really good fan of my own work because it, mm -hmm. you can see on my page, I haven't deleted anything. Mm -hmm. um, days when I used to shoot very bad, when I used to shoot with my D3300s, uh, yeah. Nikon, I still mm -hmm. haven't deleted those pictures to sort of like remind me where I actually mm -hmm. come from and where I'm at now. I know with most people, they like clean their Instagram and delete all those pictures. I mean, once mm -hmm. you do all that, you have to remind yourself where, where, where you come from to, to know where you're going. So, yeah. so no, speaking of your of your work, I mean, uh, okay, I think we're just going to try to close it uh, soon, quickly. Uh, how far how are we doing on time, Mav? Okay, an hour, four minutes. Okay, let's... <laughs> yeah, no, time <laughs> flies. Yeah, let's... Uh, you know, um, one thing that we... Say, you, you're a... Um, okay, let's... Let me not lead you. Uh, what software do you use um, to, to work your images? Uh, okay. Um, I'm a good fan of Capture One. Mm -hmm. So when I shoot, like, in studio, I'll tether with Capture One and then uh, do my my tone curves on capture one and then take them to photoshop and then mm. just sort of like um do whatever i need to do on photoshop and then mm. create them on photoshop but it's capture one and photoshop all right cool uh, any particular why capture one as, as opposed to lightroom i mean lightroom and and uh, photoshop are made by the same company why did you go capture one no i do use lightroom but for like products for like color grade products like they got a mm amazing colors like if you can see on my page like my colors are not in your face just like that mm -hmm. 
bit more subtle. The picture is more real. Uh, mm-hmm. It's also um, what actually made me leave Lightroom was the, um, a client of mine had Lightroom mm-hmm. on their phone. Mm-hmm. So when I was editing a picture on Lightroom, they were like, but I have the same software. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I can literally <laughs> take my picture with my phone and send it to my Lightroom and do what you are doing. So yeah. I thought about that and I was like, man. He's not really right, but obviously, uh, how many of those people are you going to meet? So mm. I just kind of ditched Lightroom for a second and I just focused mm. on Capture One and Capture One is up to me. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, uh, you wanted to show us uh, more or less how you, you go through your and an edit or something. Uh, do you think you have something prepared for us? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I, I can do something, but uh, as you said, we are kind of clocked with time, so I'm just kind of <laughs> just going to hurry up. All right, cool. All right, sure. Uh, the floor is yours. Uh, you can walk us through your process, Mav. Uh, is it Chad? Okay, well, Marv is setting up. I just want to say hi to uh, some people. Mr. Warren Jordan, confirming that, yeah, don't be thirsty, guys. Uh, we've got Matabo, uh, Matabo Photography, how's it? We've got Shongi, hi, nice seeing you again. Thank you for joining us. We've got Miss uh, Ms. Musa Atha Mailula, thank you for joining us on one of our shows. Please check back on some of our videos to you see. We had a great interview now. Eh? Uh, we've got Usimpiwe Mwabe saying, evening, how's it, Bafo? Usfundo. Uh, um, he's from uh, Smero, Smero, Smero. Smero. Um, yeah, yeah, Smero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, Lungelo, with Princess Mavilankulu, Kendi, we've already said hello to you. If I, I skip to you guys, I do apologize. Some of the fees do come delayed, and some of them do get off my timeline. Uh, Marv, are you ready for us? Okay, well. Okay. Yeah, just a little technical issue there, but we're sorting it out. Uh, how's it uh, with the camera icon? Uh, thanks for coming back. All right, cool. Mav is ready for us. Is the screen fine? Okay, all right. So here yeah, I got a picture of uh, Rowleen. Um, okay, actually, it's the recent shoot I did. I just don't want to go down because some, some of the images are not released as yet. They are for her upcoming projects. Okay. So uh, when I take a picture, I take it, it looks like this. Let me just double press here. It was looking like this, very orangey, very like unappetizing. So I go on my Kelvin slide and then I pretty much take that all the way down and still, uh, until I started, uh, I start seeing some tails. Um, after that, I, I pretty much go on my uh, curves adjustment layer, um, on my curves layer um i'm already talking photoshop language in, <laughs> in control one. so i i just go on my curves uh just to make sure who's going in my shadows um actually popping off that's a bit too much yeah and then i I pretty much take down the um, the, the sharpness because i mean if you're shooting with the camera that provides you with so many megapixel just anything other than what's uh, already been taken by the camera will cause a bit of distortion. So after that, I don't do anything else on Capture One. I just take the picture to my Lightroom 20. And you got to make your picture in a, a TIFF file so that you get all the, all the quality uh, and also edit it in 16 bits, guys. Um, and then you just say edit variant and it'll just open on your Photoshop. And please buy your Photoshop, guys. Please. I'm a Photoshop. Thank you. Please, let's go to the photography industry, guys. All right. Let me just... Yeah. Got that picture. 
So what do I start doing first? I can see, uh, I was saying, in half of this picture is actually like there's a lot of negative space. So I go on and crop it. So I'm going to be posting this picture on Instagram, right? And she's also going to be posting it on Instagram. So therefore, I do an Insta crop of one by one. That's the, uh, the Instagram size. Mm -hmm. So go back to crop. I can't see because there's a screen here. <laughs> uh, you can minimize Skype. I think uh, I think we should uh, still be able to to see your uh, your feed. I'll just tap it down here. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, now that we've, uh, oh, shucks, that was actually a wrong crop, move the little, hey, when, hey, boy. hey, my cropping guys, I'm I'm trying to crop uh, No, it's probably your CPU is being used by, by Skype and things like that. <laughs> yeah, it delays a bit, hey, yeah. yeah, yeah. It. Obviously, it's gonna show like this on Instagram. So, um, and then I, oh, hey, hey. my God. Okay, so I just look at the image, study it for a second, and say I have gotta work on the blemishes. So the thing that 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 I like to do is actually the patch tool. Um, able is my patch tool that doesn't seem to be working right now. Don't know why. Okay. Oh, use the welcome, I see. <laughs> yeah, I use the welcome tablet, guys. Yo. Uh, uh, yeah. For anybody who doesn't know what the welcome is, I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, yeah, see, we keep on telling them every time you need some sort of a tablet to be working yeah. in Photoshop. <laughs> Otherwise, don't even, don't, don't even bother retouching. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be slow. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I pretty much remove all the blemishes uh all the face wrinkles so what i'm actually doing i'm actually taking out all the imperfection mm -hmm. uh my computer is actually lagging because of skype but i'm yeah just gonna... yeah, yeah no sorry yeah it does uh, do that um for anybody who's watching it's not like it's being clumsy or anything it's uh, it does actually take up processor power uh, when we when you're streaming out live because uh, you're sending the feed out onto Marv, so that's why we have some of those difficulties but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I pretty much sort out all the in imperfections, like eye bags, mm. eye bags. If I check her nails, like there's that glue over there that I don't like. Anything that's actually disturbing to the eye, I just take it out. Like there's irujilana. Okay. So I am eighty percent happy with that. If I just can remove the face wrinkles here. Yeah. Yeah. So, you don't have to do the, the whole image uh, to you know just so they have an idea of what your process is is, is like uh, i think that was right. the main, uh, yeah. okay easy so after that i've created my own frequency uh, separation uh, frequency separation separation texture from the um, uh, color and texture so mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've done that already uh with my actions here so uh if you want the actions feel free to um DM me and then I can send you and then you can practice, guys. And then what I, uh, the brush that I use is the mixer brush, guys. Don't use the brush to actually give uh, it a separation because once you find doing, your your model will start looking like a candle. It will be mm. And that's mm. what, uh, not to say I'm bashing any photographer, but that's like what most of our famous Nigerian photographers like to do. Like the skin just becomes too simple. And so just affirm from doing that if you like my work but if you like your pictures to come out like that mm. a batch so mm. i pretty much applied frequencies a separation every way that the, that i want my skin to be actually smooth i stay away mm. from highlights i pretty much do only the shadows so if you mm. can just be here before and after she's really smooth so mm. i then go on to my eye eye whitening so mm. I do my eyes, the brush that I use, because I want this effect to be very strong, I use the actual brush. Uh, my flow, I did it at 71 and opposite at 71. I zoom in the picture 
just to clean her eyes. You can see her eyes are becoming whiter. Yeah. From there, uh, I'm really trying to do this as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's cool. I, uh, no, yeah, no, we do understand that you know, you know, you know, being 100% precise, but just to give us an idea. Yeah, and also with her teeth, because uh, once you find happening with models uh, is that the lipstick end up on their on their teeth. So yeah, you yeah, actually like sort that out. Uh, yeah, and after that, the teeth are more white. The eyes are more white. Just see before it was like this, very dull, and then after mm. right now, yeah, yeah, they actually uh, pop. Yeah, yeah, the picture is live. So after mm. that, I therefore um, I like to merge the layer. Although, like the person who was actually t teaching me all of this was actually telling me I'm doing it wrong. But that, these are my bad habits, guys. You, you yeah, can yeah. do that the way. <laughs> So yeah. I go on to my dodging and burning. Dodging and burning mm -hmm. is when you are, uh, uh, is when you are actually like, um, you burn, uh, uh, you burn the shadows and then you, uh, you, or you dodge the highlights. So I pretty much go back to my, um, to my mixer brush and then to my highlights, to, uh, to the areas that I hit by the lights that I want more exposed in the picture, I therefore mm. like shade them, shade them. You won't mm. see um, the impact as yet until the end if you do mm. this, but, but mm. you can see the before and after. Like it's not mm. very yeah. big, but it's very subtle. And then mm. with the shadows, you burn them just to make them mm. uh, much darker. So yeah. the reason why you do this, you, you want to actually... Uh, your audience, you, you want to give them a, a focal point in which they must focus in the picture. For okay. this, actually, the the eyes as well as the nails. So I want mm. them to uh, the focus to be on the eyes as well as the nails. So yeah. that's what I've done with the shadows. And then with regards to makeup, we we work um, very much with the makeup artists. So therefore, we enhance what whatever they've done. So. Mm. Uh, for, for instance, here yeah, the the uh, the contouring, mm. uh, whatever they were contouring, you sort of enhance it for them, and then I like to actually put a bit of thingy in the eyes and the teeth as well to just give it a young glow, mm. and um, and then I contour my shadows as well to to give it like a jawline. Not not, mm. not to say she doesn't have a jawline, but to sort of. Yeah, enhance yeah. So that, that, uh, that's what you're actually doing when, you, um, uh, when you're editing. You are enhancing other than making a whole new person. You are enhancing the features of that person. If the person has really nice eyes, you really want to work with whatever that they are gifted in to make it pop more. So, and the hair as well. We, so, so you can see before and after with the hair, there's mm. a bit of a glow there. If you're working yeah, with so, the iron. So you have like you highlight it a little bit. Uh, yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's to actually give your picture a lot of dynamic and a lot of depth. So mm. I come back and then I close, uh, pretty much close, uh, I merge this to make it one. I don't like to work with, uh, with a lot of layers. They distract me personally. And then when I see a picture, it's it's looking nicer than it was before. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and then I've actually created my very own color lots and skin texture edits. Like mm -hmm. here, it's very like brown and beige. If you can look at my page, like mm -hmm. most of the pictures are very brown and very deep, mm -hmm. uh, uh, deep brown. And you think uh, creating your own uh, lookup tables is, uh, helps you maintain the consist consistency of your work in, in terms of creating, or you know what? Do, like people have to remember what settings they have to do every time. Um, when, when you've created your own, and then you like whatever, it actually speeds the flow. So here, I've actually made it to um, to be faster for me. So okay. with you, Mtlampe, it can work another way. But this is the system that I found actually works best for me personally. Okay. All right, so, cool. Um, okay, so after that, I really like. Okay, I don't really like this tone. 
I, I really don't like this lot. Um, so I like this grading. So it was like this, now it's like that. So what after I do with that is I, because with the camera I use, I, I use a Canon and it gives a whole lot of red. So I sort of like take away the reds a bit just to make it very realistic. Okay, yeah, all right, now I can see the difference already, yeah? Yeah, just to make it a bit realistic. Uh, yeah, yeah, so what you find with Canon, it gives away a lot of reds, like, like this, like the picture is very like magenta and red, so if you kill mm. the reds, this is what you get. It's more realistic, it's more mm. like a picture that you can actually touch, and then when you mm. touch it, you can feel the skin textures. So this is how I go about when I edit my pictures. Obviously, I take more time. This I did within like seven minutes. I don't edit a picture in seven minutes. It's really an hour. I pay a lot of attention to, uh, to details. There's some stuff there I see, like the hairs over here, I really needed to take out. But yeah, that's my workflow. And this is Capture One, guys. For those who don't know Capture One, these are all the pictures in Capture One. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, guys, so, that's pretty much how I work, just take them, uh, so, with Capture One, it allows you the freedom to tether your images as well, can I stop sharing now? Stop sharing. Okay, uh, with, with, uh, with Capture One, it, it actually allows you the freedom of, um, of, of actually tethering, or what is tethering, is shooting, is seeing what, what you're shooting at that particular time. So, yeah. It's a cool. Um, I think we lost Uniko there for a while. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just try and get him back, uh, back to our feed. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we'll, let's see if we have any comments in the chat box. Um, um, Okay, Mohammed John was saying Amy doesn't like that tab, eh? Oh, yeah, so probably one of Amy's. <laughs> and then, oh, Umosa. Uh, Umosa was saying, very nice edit. Your work is amazing. And and then, um, yeah, uh, Kupan was also saying uh, the work is fire as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Because of time, obviously, we have to do so. Yeah. So I. I think we've got him. Let me just try and get U U Uniko back and see if I think he's having a bit of internet issues. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, Mav? Hi. Yeah, no, something went wrong. My line just died, so I'm on my phone. So, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> which, yeah, I'm, I'm here. So, yeah, different setup. So, I'll have to apologize to everyone else. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Uh, oh. Yeah, well, are we done with the editing? <laughs> or are we still yeah, there? we're done. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, yeah, well, wait, just wait, as well, wait, wait. anyway. I just yeah? need to get you... you. Oh, yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, apologies. Uh, my somehow internet just went off and I'm <laughs> streaming from my phone. But it's a good thing. Yeah, we've seen the edits quite interesting. So I didn't see the last parts of it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we did a, a show last week and we saw how... Um, um, uh, help me out here. Uh, oh, Brandon. Oh, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon does his edit, and we can see now how you do your edit, and Amy did another edit on Sunday. So different processes and all of them are approaching the same same result at the end of the day. So, I mean, there is no one way of doing something. As long as you do it um, and you are happy with the end results, then, you know, I think that's an important lesson we can take away from this, you know. Um, yeah, with Photoshop, there's like 50 ways to do one thing. 
yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Just, uh, looking yeah, at just, the chat just, room, yeah. we have Kopa Noma Shoko yeah. saying, nice work, big man. Mind to share some raw images we can practice with during this lockdown? Uh, I can, but uh, what actually I can if you're not gonna post it on your on your um, on your Instagram because you know most of the people that that I work with, I just don't want to explain why or what happened. But I just 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 edit it, show it in some way to Marv or show, or show it to me. It's just that clients are very finicky sometimes, mm-hmm. just, just to avoid that because I haven't discussed it with them. But I can okay. share. I can All email. Right, quick. All right, cool. I think, I mean, also to be on the safer side, I mean, uh, maybe let's not use uh, your paid clients. We can do maybe your pro, uh, private concerts or projects. Uh, I think just to be on the safer yeah. Yeah. Um I think yeah, I think I had only one one more question. Um in terms of um, key software that you use for a business. You run a business, uh, you need reminders, you need calendars, things like that. You need to yeah. invoice, you need to bill people. What what software do you do you use on top of that? Uh okay, for invoicing I use a software called Waves. Waves. How does yes. Waves? Yeah, <laughs> we told people about it, so I'm yeah. glad that we're not the only ones about it. Yeah, yeah, and for sending of pictures, I use WeTransfer. The app just changed. If you can see, yo, I've got pictures that I just shared with the clients here. Yeah? What's nice about actually having the WeTransfer app is because you, you, you pretty much have the pictures here. So even though the client can lose their phone, they can mm-hmm. always come back and then re-download the, uh, mm-hmm. the images off here. So mm-hmm. each and every client of mine, like all the pictures I make, like um, it, it's on my computer as well. But mm-hmm. I just want to show you on my phone, like all the clients that I shot this week, like this is the source, uh, all the source images I've ever taken in her life. You see, mm-hmm. like different mm-hmm. shoots. So mm-hmm. I use transfer uh, to send images. And what else? For editing, I use Capture One. For, uh, for other edits, I use Capture One as well. Uh, for um, for videos, I use Premiere Pro. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, okay. So we've got invoicing, and then and, and, uh, which you said waves. It's waveapps.com. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, very beautiful software. The nice part is most of the stuff that you need is is, is a free is, is, is a free application. So yeah, yeah I, we did tell people about it, and it was one of my recommendations. So guys, please look at waves. It's quite a beautiful software. Um, and then in terms of email, <laughs> are you an Outlook or do you use Gmail? Or what what are you? Uh, I'm an Outlook. I'm actually laughing. At a person who was actually <laughs> was actually commenting, he's saying yeah. like, trust me. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, in terms of email, I use Outlook, but um, mm. I'm planning to actually when I have my website up and running because with my website, man, I really wanna, I don't wanna rush it. I wanna have when you enter a website to get Louis Vuitton, I just wanted to. Yeah. The experience to be like that when i've registered a domain and then yeah. i've got the right content to actually go on my website uh yeah. i'll therefore change to like mm-hmm. dot my business but for now i use outlook so it's fine all right okay cool cool yeah. i think uh um i think most uh, we've covered most everything that i wanted to know any closing words any parting words if i do cut out please Marv, uh, just uh close off the show uh with uh yeah because my connection doesn't seem to be Table for some reason. No um, yeah, but any parting words? Uh, thank you for coming, Karun. Um, thank you very much, guys, for this platform. It actually went on for you know, for almost an hour and a half now. It was very <laughs> nice. I, I hope it was uh, informative, and I really tried to not give like PR answers and just be straight into the yeah. yeah, that got all of me. Basically. All right, no, that's 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 good. No, thank you. We we enjoyed having you. Like uh, as like I said before, I love I love your personality, your attitude, and uh, you know I wish you all the best going forward. Uh, yeah, may your business grow bigger, bigger. May you have more more clients that have a million <laughs> followers and things like that. Uh, <laughs> if you wanna you. find Fudo's work, uh, go to Instagram. as OK, the letter O, the letter K underscore Majozi. It's M A J O Z I. 
uh, on Instagram. Uh, he's working on his website coming soon. And if you have any questions for him, please do inbox him uh, via that platform and help spread the word that he's out there. Like I said, word of mouth helps. Uh, so anything out there to help him out as well, please let's make sure that he doesn't have time to breathe, <laughs> that he can build a studio with 20 employees in it. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, <laughs> other than that, Mav, thank you on the technical Thanks side. Everybody. Always on point. Thanks. Again, <laughs> yeah, we love you. Mm. We love you. Yeah, thanks for everybody for coming through. Uh, Mav, uh, yeah, parting words from your uh, side? Uh, I, I think I... I'm just going to say thank you, everybody. Uh, I'm not on mute this time. You can hear me. You can hear me this time. <laughs> I'm not on mute. But thank you for joining the show. Please spread the word. Yeah, we're now going for a thousand uh, followers and we'll try keep getting the content uh, going as we usually do. And Friday, remember, the game show is on. Thanks. Yeah, bo. yeah, don't forget the game show. It's going to be fun. Please join in. And any uh, the, the winner of the game show will win a Sandus 32 gigabyte uh, um, SD card. We haven't forgotten about the tablet. We haven't for- so please do give us a way in which uh, you can, um, the, a criteria we can use for you to win that welcome tablet that Scooter is giving away. We haven't forgotten about that. But the price for, for Friday's show is a 32 gig send this card so please inbox us uh, if you want to join the game show go on youtube look for wheel of fortune to find out how it's played and that's the format that we're going to be using other than that we are out